Visit KPIT Sparkle website. Fill your personal details and and upload your college ID. Verify your account using the OTP shared on your registered email address. You can now log into KPIT Sparkle. Click on Submit Now. Fill in your project details along with a brief description about your novel idea. Click on Submit to move to the TRL1 questionnaire. Define your problem statement and answer the MCQs. TRL2 Level Unlock Follow the same process and answer all the questions for the TRL 2, 3 and 4. You can find helpful resources regarding your project submission process. the image of your prototype or the flowchart, diagram, wireframe, etc. explaining your prototype. Upload the Assured Framework PPT. Congratulations you have now successfully submitted your idea for KPIT Sparkle 2023. The team should have a fair knowledge of uh, what are the competitors and how they match. Hi, uh,
this video talks about the assured framework now the assured framework is is a method you may say how uh, you can understand if your idea is worth pursuing to make it a product or a service what is assured assured if you if you look at the uh, the letters of the word assured a stands for affordability so uh, the uh, the uh, we expect the team to know about the uh, the cost of the product uh, at the end of uh, uh, the design cycle as well as what we are what we are saying is the team should have a fair knowledge of uh, what are the competitors and how they match in the terms of cost uh, with, with respect to the the product which you are proposing so s stands for scalability it's the speed at which uh, the idea can reach say a million customers that's just a number but uh, it is actually to understand the scalability of the idea uh, what we expect is a brief plan to be presented during the evaluation uh, which should actually uh, uh, tell about how you are touching the lives of this uh, these many uh, customers now uh, s again stands for uh, sustainability so this is not limited by uh, the economic supports uh, it could be from policies or other uh, uh, influencing factors uh, but uh, so we may say uh, uh, sustainability is more about environmental issues being solved so uh, is this idea or this product a stand alone uh, um, uh, product doesn't require a policy push uh, is it socially acceptable all these things are the uh, measures of sustainability uh, universal u stands for universal universal uh, means it should be user friendly uh, where uh, there has to be minimal friction with consumers and customers it should be kind of maintenance free it should be easily integrated to the the current scenarios so all these are the uh, is is what is Uh, coming under universal as a dimension uh, rapid is not limited to uh, getting funds but also implementing uh, these things on ground excellence e stands for excellence and this is actually the next practice in it could be in business or it could be in technology uh, what we would say is best is not enough you need to be the the best of the best uh, distinctive is uh it is actually the measure of being first in the world so maybe maybe if the idea is very novel it would fit into this kind of a dimension it would score high so these are seven dimensions basically of any product or service and uh, uh the product or service need not be uh, so right now uh, what we say is that it need not be great in all the dimensions but certain dimension should be you may say uh, excellent in that case what happens is the chance of the product or the service uh, winning in the market uh, becomes uh, you may say uh, more predictable so that's about the assured framework uh, thank you into the market many of you who do this would be uh, learning for a lifetime because hi this video uh, would be about the kpit design thinking process uh, of course uh, there's a small change that we have done in the normal process and uh, you'll find uh, it on your on your screen basically you'll look at these slides uh, you you find that uh, the design thinking process as well as the trl levels go parallel to each other uh, 
first empathizing with the the problem to understand the problem then there is a stage which where you will be uh, using the assured framework now uh, i'd uh, tell you more about the assured framework in the next video uh, but this assured framework once you have the data with with this assured framework you would start defining the problem and uh, and start ideating on it now till this stage you are you have you might have crossed around say trl 2 at this point the moment you are uh, at trl 3 and trl 4 you would be uh, going towards simulating your uh, prototype that is the virtual pro prototyping so it, this is a stage where you would be simulating the the uh, idea on computer uh, programs and uh, uh, the output would would optimize the uh, the uh, uh, the uh, you may say the parameters which will allow your uh, idea or your product or your service to be at a optimized level now uh, after the simulation uh, is where you go for prototyping which is a uh, you would be taking inputs from the simulation uh, which you have done uh and uh, this would be a uh, you may say directions to you what to change in the real prototype and what is required at this stage is where you make the real prototype of course uh, there will be few few teams who get selected to this stage and uh, they would be also funds provided to them uh, to a certain extent for prototyping and then uh, the next stage is where you test the 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 final product so this is this is the whole sequence of of uh, the design thinking process which you will execute and uh, through this process most probably most of you would come out with a with a product or a service which can go into the market many of you who do this would would be it would be a learning for a lifetime because whenever you want to design or you may say you want to bring a product in the market you would actually be using this process again so in both the ways for people who want to become entrepreneurs and people who want to to just study the process this is a very good uh, way of uh, executing whatever you learnt in engineering to a product or a service thank you